You know, we had a touch of rain in Aurora tonight. It seems appropriate to have rain on this night here as we think about the lives lost five years ago and look to the future as our community continues to heal. Denver 7's reporter Jacqueline Allen joins me now and we both over the years have spent time with these families and are always so moved that they allow us into their lives. I know, you know, over the last five years, they've invited me into their homes. I've been in their hospital rooms. We've been with when, them when they're laughing over the good memories, when they're crying over that emotional trial right. and the loss. And just in the last few hours, we were here tonight as they placed 12 white crosses here near the garden in memory of those 12 lives lost five years ago. This is a tradition that was started by a carpenter from Aurora, Illinois, but it has been continued by a local man and Todd Ponton, he brings them out every year and you can see he encourages people to write messages on them. On Alex Sullivan's cross, there's birthday wishes. Alex died on the day he turned 27. I believe in tangible remembrance. People have to have something that they could touch, feel, uh, relate to, uh, have something that uh, their senses can register to remember a horrific event like that. Now, Todd also places crosses for the Columbine High School shooting anniversary, and he stores them all year long in his one-bedroom apartment. He volunteers for this, and he says it is all about healing for people to be able to touch something when so much has been taken away from them. Well, and as we talk about this memorial that, we, that we'll hear more about in August, that's the bottom line, right? Just being able to touch something and feel something and feel their presence. Absolutely. We've already seen that here tonight. I spoke to Jansen Young. Her boyfriend, Jonathan Blunk, died as he was trying to save her life in the theater shooting blocked hers with a butt and, he's, and she has, still has a heart here that she wrote on right after the shooting. She was holding it tonight and saying, this is why I come to mm. this to remember. It's all so meaningful. Mm. Thank you, Jacqueline. By the way, tomorrow evening, survivors, first responders, family members, friends and advocates, they will gather to support one another. There will be live music. They'll have banners. They'll sign banners, I guess I should say, for those affected by violence all the way across the pond in Manchester and London, England. That event will be at Baker Street Pub and Grill in Denver and Shannon really the bottom line is they just want to share this message that um, everyone is impacted but everyone can be a hero and support one another through these tough times. 